Well, hey, howdy, hey there, train wrecks. How are you today? I am the glorious train wreck mom, and I had a couple people ask me off of my last video, how do you do the Disney bounding thing? Um, the best way, and if you haven't seen my video, I'll put a link to it up here somewhere. Sure, why not? Um, basically, Disney bounding is casual cosplay, as you were. Um, you know, you dress like a character without dressing like a character. You have hints and 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 you know ideas of what they are so but it's not like you're dressing in costume completely you know with the more human characters it's a little bit easier to do because they dress like normal people for the most part and you just have to find like some accessories that go with it um for some of the animals it's a lot of color blocking um princesses is very big on color blocking so yeah i just wanted to show you how um i'm going to do my bounding for this week coming up so I figured I'd show you so hold on once okay so this is my my Disney bound for tomorrow which is Monday as you see I have a purple bow a white t-shirt a brown sweater and a pair of jeans I mean it's pretty innocuous looking but um what I'm, I'm going as um Carl from up because everyone needs a dream and sometimes we just need a new adventure. Now, I'm sure you're sitting there looking at the b purple bow going, I don't understand the purple bow. Okay, so the whole point of Disney bounding is also making it your own thing. Well, I don't have a black bow tie laying around anywhere. And I don't have the purple grape soda button that he has. But what I do have is a purple grape colored bow that I can put um, at my collar and make it look like a bow tie. So that's, and my shoes, I'll probably honestly just wear my white sneakers because I don't have a whole lot in the way of shoes. So yeah. Okay, now this one is actually pretty simple. Um, as you see, I've got like gray khakis or cargo pants, whatever you want to call them. I've got a gray shirt that actually has a pretty weird neckline on it, and I've got a tag for some reason. I've got this blue scarf that I'm debating if I'm going to put it on my head, which I probably will. And then I've got this little baby, which I got off a of Wish. I love it so much. Look at him. He is so amazing. Um, so if you haven't figured it out, it's Hades. Um, Hades is absolutely one of my all-time number one favorite villains, just because he's so sassy, and it's just like, uh, he's kind of like the call center role model. It's like, you want to blow your top, but it's like, okay, hey, I'm cool, I'm fine, I'm good, I got this. <sighs> you know, chill. I mean, I, I love Hades, and James Woods is just incredible, and so, yeah, I can't figure out, I might make this into a vest, which I figured out how to do that the other day, which is so cool. Um, or I might uh, tie it around my head to get that, like, blue flame thing he's got going on. So I don't know, I'll figure it out then. Okay, so this one, um, I've got the purple pants, which I actually just bought at the half of half. They were, like, 12 bucks, I think, 11 or 12 bucks, which was amazing and I absolutely love the fit and the style and everything they wash up so nice I just and yeah it was amazing I got this off of wish as well I've become a wish addict it's pretty terrible actually so yeah I got that off of wish and this shirt says breathe it is a black shirt and I'm debating which of these two scarves that I'm actually going to kind of use as a belt because it's got this cool fringy part here and uh, if you haven't figured it out it's Ursula from the Little Mermaid and basically um, the reason I, I picked the black shirt that says breathe is because you know she's giving her legs to be able to and to be able to walk around amongst the people out of the water and what can't you do when you're underwater is breathe so you know that iconic scene when she pops up to the surface and takes her first breath which is weird because she was able to breathe above water before, so I don't know, you know, but so yeah, there's that. That's Ursula there. This one isn't finished. Um, I've got to work on this one a little bit better. It's um, black slacks, 
and a yellow top and I'm going to actually hand or arm knit technically a blue throw to go over my shoulders and it's going to be dory. Um, I don't have any little fishy things or anything that would go accessory wise. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty simple, pretty basic um, bounding there. Now this one is actually going to be using the white shirt from Carl. Um, I'll actually be doing laundry probably Wednesday again. And I'll use the white shirt that I use on Monday on this one for Friday. And um, with the red, white, and black, red type belt that I made, um, possibly this hat because I can't find any bow. Um, definitely this for my hair. And then a rose, wait, where'd it go? Oh, a rose that needs to be painted red. So this will be the Red Queen, and I thought it was pretty cool. I guess I ordered it this way. This is another wish thing, by the way, guys. Um, it has my initial on it, which I was totally, I totally forgot that I ordered it like that. I was like, dude, that's so cool. It came with my initial. And then I thought, oh, that'd be kind of weird if everybody got a J. That'd be weird, but that's just kind of how my brain goes. So yeah, that'll be the Red Queen. So yeah. So yeah, yeah, if you look, I mean, these aren't, you know, super expensive pieces. These aren't super elaborate pieces. Th these are all very plain, very basic kind of things. I mean, everyone's got, you know, the white t-shirt, the jeans, you know, the black slacks. So there's a lot you can do when you're talking about um, the Disney bounding and even, you know, Disney bounding and still looking almost like a professional, like a functional adult that can work and live in society without being a freak. That's always a bonus. So that's all I've got for today, Trainwreck. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to say hi, throw that in the comments below. I I like answering you guys. I like talking to you guys. Uh, my books, Platitudes of Gratitude, All Your Fault, and Mr. Christmas are available on e Amazon. You can get them in ebook and paperback right now. I have my blog at, uh, what is my blog name? <laughs> my, I've got my blog on WordPress. It's wordpress.com. No, it's the glorious train wreck mom dot wordpress dot com. I've got my uh, cafe press um, cafe press dot com backslash the glorious train wreck mom shop. So you can check out all of the train wrecky goodness there. And I think that's everything. So that's all I got for today, train wreck. So all aboard. Boop, boop.